Hi, I'm Ryan Michael Galloway with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com. Uh, we're going to shift gears here for a few nights and talk about 20 ways to make it in the music business. And this applies to anybody, any age, because even though 15, 16, and 17 year olds aren't doing this kind of basic stuff, I'm seeing 50 year olds not doing the same basic stuff too. So think about all this no matter what age you are because it, it makes sense. And if you've got it all down, that's, that's great. But I've probably hit some things that you're not doing or haven't thought about or at least aren't, aren't considering. So for starters, um, I'm not an advocate for, for um, you know, getting a record deal. But no matter how you execute your music career, all of this stuff is going to be important. For starters, focus. What do I mean by focus? I mean concentrate on your rehearsal, on your promotion, on everything around your, your music business because it is a business after all. As much as you'd like to believe it's entirely art, it's not. And so how do you bring focus to things? Well, think about all the things you could be doing. You could be, uh, you know, golfing. You could be uh, uh, a cheerleader coach or a soccer coach. Uh, you could be uh, uh, dating somebody who's very distracting and not, you know, not on your team or not helping support what you're doing. Um, you could be, uh, um, oh, taking on a whole bunch of extra jobs just for the money when in fact it would be better to sacrifice some of that money to go, um, you know, get your work done in your career. Now, I'm not necessarily saying sacrifice your education, because you, know, you shouldn't be off the hook for that. That's very important, even your music education, as it were. But um, when you've got two or three things going, don't take on two or three more. If you do, nothing's ever going to happen. And think about somebody who's like an Olympian. Um, their parents have sacrificed a great deal. There's a whole lot of focus of everyone around that person and that person themselves to their swimming or their figure skating or their vaulting or whatever it is that, that, uh, that they're into, uh, that they're competing in. There's a tremendous amount of focus on what they're doing and there's travel and everything, you know, every, coaching and all kinds of things that they get to make that happen. And things can distract you and take you completely off, off guard. Uh, but you are like that athlete. You are like that person who is uh, uh, in training, as it were. And even something as outrageous as, say, a pregnancy, getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant yourself, if you happen to be a woman, will take you completely off task. And not probably just for a little while, but for a good long time. So all kinds of issues uh, around uh, taking the distractions out of your life and bringing focus on that music career, or whatever it is that you're aiming for if it's not music. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about networking. My second point is networking because it's so important. You know, you can only make so many contact, contacts yourself. Meanwhile, somebody you grew up with or somebody that you know in your, in your general circle of friends or friends of friends has gone out and made a bunch of contacts in other places. And they're people like agents. And maybe if you want to get into record companies, record companies. And maybe managers or if you want to get into managers. More importantly, club owners and people who have gigs and people who, who maybe couldn't make it to the gig and need somebody to take their place or somebody's come to them for a country band and they're punk but they know you and your country and you know this should be all completely cross genre, cross age group, cross skill level, network with everybody and I want you to think also about uh, an organization like the, the uh, Professional Golf Association, the PGA, here's a bunch of very fierce competitors but they've come together to build um, this network of golfers that really created a whole sport well, you're creating a whole music industry where you are. And uh, if you're not creating it, then you should be signing on to it, being a part of it. Uh, starting, you know, songwriters associations or music groups or, uh, you know, if you've got a, uh, a group like a union in your area, something like that. So anyway, networking is critical and it extends your reach. Those are my two points for today. Because we won't have an introduction tomorrow, I'll hit quite a few more points. And I hope you'll join me. I am Ryan Michael Galloway and you're at we don't need no stinking record company.com thanks